I probably have to apologize for getting that last video put out. I generally don't eat, usually drink in front of the camera, but I usually don't eat in front of the camera. So of course, I wanted to see what was going on. And while wow, we're gearing up for fun and frolicking and frolicking, West Hollywood, California with her party. <coughs> Sorry. For decades, at least our last two or three decades before the COVID kicked, they would have the Halloween party along Hollywood Boulevard. The touristy areas, jam-packed with monsters of sorts, of monsters and creatures and Halloween places to go to. COVID kicked the shit out of people left and right. And they're stranded. Let's see one second. Basically, there was hardly any places for people to go when COVID kicked in. Nowhere. No gatherings at all. So this is the first time I've actually had a Halloween. But this time, their jaunt is going to be in West Hollywood instead of Hollywood, instead of along where it normally was. Probably people couldn't get the permission or something to do that again. So, while I was hearing about this, I was thinking back to those days. Once my brother and I had been there. <laughs> Only one time. And we seen all the crazy cookie costumes. Regular guys dressed up, or actually with Halloween shirts, that's about it. Who want to just pay homage to Halloween during those days. And these days, I'm not quite so sure. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Uh, what I'm feeling is, am I part of this or am I not part of this? <clears throat> I used to be part of the element of Halloween. I like dressing up for Halloween. When you get older and you work at different places, it's a different thing altogether. It is. When you're in your offices and you're allowed to dress up, you could. And I had to come up with a few. It may have been standard, but I had to throw in something. When I had a back that was working and I was younger and more flexible, <clears throat> I was about 20 years ago, uh, almost 30 years ago, I guess, my God, working in a temp place, a call center. Just give me one second. I did not want to clear out my pipes, around camera anyway, because you got guys out and I don't do that often, and I'm not doing it anyway. So, I was working in a temp agency, well, actually, for a temp agency, about three or four months stint. We're doing a bank merger. Right after New Year's, it had been over, and another assignment somewhere else. But during this time, we were actually allowed to dress up somewhat, but still maintained a professionalism. They had costume contests. I didn't win. But I was there to have fun. I was Igor from... No, I'm sorry. I was Igor from Young Frankenstein. It's amazing what someone can do by putting on a, a sweatshirt, a gray sweatshirt, plain. Put it over the head. And... I'm sorry, can't we talk like this? <sighs> During those days, I can remember the lines. I quote them out. <clears throat> and I had fun doing it. 
The only reason why I just turned melancholy at this point over here because I remember how much my brother and I love that movie. I'll say, I have said it before many times in my videos that, <coughs> sorry, when it comes down for things I enjoyed with my family, including with my brother, movie, skits, something, <coughs> my head generates the memories and then it goes through the triggering process. So eventually today I'll be torn apart one way or another. And dealing with it. Last night should have been a triggering mill note. It should have been putting me into a, a depressional, uh, melancholy state, or just a depressional state where I was about to really lose it. <clears throat> Excuse me one second again. Damn my pipes. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just <clears throat> having breathing issues. That's all. Not that I'm planning on vapor locking right now, as it is. You know, but I'd be concerned about it to myself. <laughs> but the thing of it is, I thought about things like that, and I kept thinking about, I enjoyed those times. <clears throat> but I also had family along with me, and that's what made it harder to deal with. So I guess maybe in the, in, the, in the season where people are freaking and having a good time. And I want to have a good time. But the thing is, you know, I act in front of my family. Act, not acting out, but just acting. <clears throat> that doesn't mean I was caught up with a Hollywood bug and I should pursue my career in Hollywood or voice acting or anything. No. Just did it for them or for anybody else that would be around me. Just doing it for fun. There's nothing wrong being wild and crazy. Shows people a little bit of a fun side of you, of oneself. But I'd rather not go full tilt boogie looking for I need acting because I'm already seeing a pros and cons of this one. Give me one second again. I'm not about to blast your eardrums on this one. That's for darn sure. But well, there is no butt on this one, am I saying? <sighs> Sorry, I'm just getting rid of a few videos. <sniffs> Loaded up by accident. No. An error. It makes me nervous. What's going on these days? Celebrating Halloween in its gory glory and then seeing reality. That's why I did the other video concerning about uh, folks Halloween versus reality Halloween. But my feelings, <coughs> excuse me, my feelings about Halloween, if we didn't have the war, if we didn't have the police shootings, not the police shootings, but if we had, if we didn't have anybody trying to kill each other in this in this month, it may have been, it may have been a time to think about gory things or false gory things, and pretend that you're a monster and you're all crazy. Well, the thing is, I'm looking at real life monsters right now. I can go through the memories, and they also remind me of what I had with the family. You know, it was a few years later after I had that temp assignment at a call center, that bank merger project, first interstate, first uh, being swallowed up by Wells Fargo. <clears throat> that uh, I worked at, uh, if I have the mention of name, Blues of California. It was the cross, not the shield. They had, I guess in the first or second year, a Halloween contest. I didn't win, but I was up there still acting as Igor because during those days I had a good back and I could bend. I remember my brother a long time ago when he had a, 
when his back was a little bit better and he was actually able to do it for a short time before his knees and his back would give him crazy. He would do a gorilla. <clears throat> he would turn his shirt out in a way and he would flap his arms around and he act like a damn gorilla. And he'd chase people. We had a barbecue one time. We had our friend's family over there. And it wasn't October. It was in the summer. He'd come out doing his gorilla. Somehow or another, he'd put his shirt over his head in a way. And then he'd roll it. And then he would... I never knew how to put his shirt over his head. But he did. And he's going out there chasing people left and right. Uh, the kids are screaming like crazy and fun because he's going, Rah! it's coming after him. When I did Igor, kind of reminded me of him. Dave never did do Igor. I did Igor. What the hump? Put a towel underneath his shirt. Keep switching it back to forth. Alan, how are you doing today? How's the hump? Hump? What hump? I have no hump. Give him the eyes. And that would make a few people smile and laugh like crazy. <coughs> Me on the other hand, I'm already having problems already. <coughs> but... It's important for me to talk about some of this stuff because even in October like this, we'd still think about things. I'm getting maudlin and I'm feeling the depression kicking in. Yeah, round two on this one. <laughs> <laughs>